Hey guys, this is Justin from Breaking to CRE, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is talk about real estate equity waterfalls and what these actually are in a real estate deal. Now, these tend to be one of the most daunting parts of a real estate syndication or fund, and when I was first starting out, it was really difficult to learn what this was. It seemed like every time someone would try to explain it to me, or when I would try to read something about it online, I would end up feeling more confused than when I first started. So what we're gonna do in this video is really break down this concept step by step in a simplified way so it's easy to understand. Rather than overcomplicating the process, we're gonna break down exactly what an equity waterfall is. So if you're looking to use an equity waterfall structure in your next real estate deal, or you're just trying to figure out how an equity waterfall model actually works in practicality, definitely stick around for this video. Now, if you're new to this channel, we talk about real estate investing careers and real estate financial modeling. So if you're looking to break into the real estate investment industry for the first time, or you're looking to advance your existing real estate investment career, definitely subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Now, the most important part of this is understanding what an actual equity waterfall is and why it's used in many private equity models. So what we're gonna do is break down what a waterfall structure actually is in a real estate deal, and we're going to use an example to do it. So let's say you're 25 years old, you have a little bit of experience in real estate investing, and you're ready to start building your multifamily portfolio, so you want to buy an apartment project. You have $50,000 to invest, and you start to hunt for your first deal. Now, after many months of searching, you finally find what you believe is the perfect deal. And at the asking price, you believe you can hit an 18% internal rate of return or IRR over a five year hold period. The problem is that the deal is listed at $3 million, meaning that even if you get about 65% of the purchase price as loan proceeds, you're still going to have to come up with about a million dollars to close on the deal. Now, even though you only have $50,000 to invest, you believe really strongly in the deal and you want to get it done. So since you don't have that $1 million to invest on your own, you need to go out and start looking for one or more equity partners to help you fund the deal. And that's really where the syndication is created. You're raising capital from investors to buy a real estate deal. So you think about who you know that has some extra money that may want to invest in real estate and may want you as that operating partner. So say you think of your uncle Mark and your uncle Mark started some social media company a few years ago. It starts with an F and you don't really know what it's called, but you do know that he's loaded and he can probably help you invest in the deal. So you call up Uncle Mark and you say, Uncle Mark, how would you like an 18% return on your money? I found this great real estate deal. And Uncle Mark says, that sounds great kid, but I don't know anything about real estate and I also have my own business to run, so I don't have time to do this. So you say, no problem at all, Uncle Mark. I will do all of the work. So Uncle Mark thinks about this for a second and says, interesting. How much money do you need? And you say, well, I need a million dollars to close on the deal, but I have 50,000 to invest. So Uncle Mark says, okay, I'll give you $950,000. I want you to invest the other 50,000 because I want you to have some skin in the game. So let's hit the pause button on this conversation for a second and just recap what just happened. So at this point, we have a purchase price of $3 million. We have $2 million of assumed debt, and then we have $1 million of equity. Now, at this point, Uncle Mark has committed to funding $950,000 of the required $1 million of equity, and you, as the general partner or operating partner of the deal, need to only contribute $50,000 on the deal. Now, this is an extremely common structure in real estate private equity. Usually, you'll see somewhere between 1% and 10% of the total equity requirement for the deal is going to be funded by that general partner or the sponsor, really the person doing the work on the deal, and 90 to 99% of the equity investment is going to be covered by that limited or capital partner that's not going to end up doing the work on the deal. So at this point, as a 25 year old, you're able to control $3 million of real estate with only $50,000 of your own capital. Pretty cool, right? Well, it gets better, so let's jump back into that conversation. So you say back to Uncle Mark, this sounds great to me, but one more question for you. 
If you were going to invest your money somewhere else, so the stock market or another private equity investment, what do you think your return would likely be? Uncle Mark thinks for a second and says, probably around 8% per year. So now at this point, you know how you construct the deal. So you say back to Uncle Mark, that sounds good. So how about this? In this investment, until we hit that 8% internal rate of return or IRR, we're going to split the profits in the exact portion that we initially invested them. So I'll get 5% of all the cash flows up to that 8% internal rate of return, and you can get 95% of all of those cash flows. Sound good? Uncle Mark says, yeah, sure, that makes sense. But then you say, since you're doing all the work, you're going to add some sort of promoted interest into the deal. So you say to your Uncle Mark, but since I'm doing all the work on the deal, to incentivize me even more to do a great job and achieve really strong investment returns for you, when everything is said and done, if our investment hits over an 8% annualized rate of return, for every dollar of profit over that 8% annualized rate of return, I'm going to take 30% of what your profits would otherwise be. Now, Uncle Mark thinks about this for a second and says, that actually sounds good. I was only planning on getting an 8% return otherwise, so anything above that is icing on the cake. So let's stop this and talk about what just happened here, and this is really where the waterfall part of the equation comes into play. So what you're asking here is for 30% of Uncle Mark's profits over that 8% IRR. So notice this doesn't mean that a 30% promoted interest means that you take 30% of all of the profits if you hit a 16 or 18 or 20% IRR. You're really taking the 30% of whatever your limited partner's profits are to get your total cash flow split as a general partner. So what this means from a math perspective is that for every dollar of profit, over that 8% internal rate of return, you're going to take 30% of your Uncle Mark's 95% or 28.5% of the total profits plus your initial 5% of the profits from that equity that you invested for a total of 33.5% of the profits for every dollar of profit over that 8% IRR. So let's say we fast forward five years and when it's all said and done, you've hit a 16% internal rate of return rather than an 18% internal rate of return. Still a great return, everybody's happy, the project performed well, and you have a lot of profit at the end of the day. In fact, you have over a million dollars of profit that you've earned on this deal. So where does that profit go and how is it split? Well, in this case, let's say we have $400,000 of profit up to that 8% internal rate of return and $600,000 of profit over that 8% internal rate of return. So for the $400,000 of profit up to that 8% internal rate of return, Uncle Mark would take home 380,000 of that and you would take home the remaining 20,000. But for the $600,000 of profit over that 8% internal rate of return, Uncle Mark is only going to take 66.5% of that or $399,000 and you're going to take the remaining 33.5% of that or $201,000. Now, even with that, let's say Uncle Mark gets a 14% internal rate of return on his investment. Even though the project hit a 16% internal rate of return, Uncle Mark is still really happy and achieved a much better return than he would have gotten in the stock market or another investment vehicle. But meanwhile, you as the syndicator, you earned over a 40% internal rate of return on your investment based on that promoted interest that you earned from achieving over that 8% internal rate of return. And that's where the waterfall structure comes into play. And all of that put together is really how a real estate syndication works and how the equity waterfall model plays into that real estate syndication. Now, this is the most common waterfall structure that I've seen in the US. Obviously, there are many different waterfall structures and many different ways to structure a real estate partnership, but this is really the way that I wish someone would have explained real estate equity waterfalls to me when I was first getting started in the business. Now, if you want to learn more about how to actually build these waterfalls in Excel, how to actually build an equity waterfall for your next real estate deal, I definitely recommend checking out my course, the Real Estate Equity Waterfall Modeling Masterclass. It's the same concept. When I was first learning how to build this, I couldn't find a resource that could teach me how to build a real estate equity waterfall in a way that actually made sense. And so this course is my way of breaking this process down in an easy step-by-step -step format 
so you can actually understand how to build an equity waterfall model. So I'll link that course in the description below. So definitely check that out if you wanna learn more about equity waterfall modeling in Excel. So I hope that helped you understand equity waterfall models in a little bit more of a clear way. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with anyone else who might find this helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.